Hello and welcome my dear students to my channel Mathematics Made Easy. This is Ms. Ritika welcoming all my great elite math students to today's session. This video is going to be very beneficial for all of you who are going to give your term 3 exam. This is a revision series where we begin today with the first learning objective of part 1 that is solve multi-step algebraic equations. So let's get started with the video and before we do so a humble request to all of you to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you are liking my videos and finding them useful. So let's see what we are learning today. In this video we are going to solve some questions which are from your exam coverage for grade 8 elite from part 1 and learning objective 1. So these are the questions that you are going to be solving in today's session. Let's solve them one by one beginning with example 1. So here you see an equation where you have variable x on both sides. So we are going to solve this equation by collecting the like terms. These two are like terms. So I'm going to move this 16x from the right to the left side and this 14 which is a number combining with 58 to move it on the other side. Remember when we change sides uh, the sign of the variable changes. So 16x was positive on the right, it becomes minus 16x on the left side. Minus 14 moves on the right, becomes positive. So 58 plus 14. So this gives you 20x on subtraction and it also gives you 72 here. So x is going to be 72 divided by 20. We can simplify this and get our answer. So this is going to be 36 over 10. I have divided by 2. So this is going to be 3.6 here. In a similar way, we can solve these equations that you see here for the variable x. So I'm going to move 6 on the other side. It becomes 8x minus 6x equal to 10, which is 2x equal to 10 or x equal to 5. So I divided both sides by 2 to get to the answer. Remember when you see brackets in a question or an equation, you apply the distributive property, you multiply them one by one and then solve. So you can solve all of these equations in a similar way. I can move this 0.5x here and this 8x here, 8 here. Okay, I will show you the correct answers now for these questions. And before we go to the solutions, let's also see example 2 where you have these angles given. There is a figure given to you, but again, we are going to solve it using algebra. So look at the measure of angle BXA, BXA. That means this angle, it is given to be 3x plus 5 and then DXE, DXE is this angle which is given to be 50. Six. Now these two angles are going to be equal because they are vertically opposite angles. So you can put these two equations as same or equal. Now we solve for x, move 5 to the other side. It becomes 56 minus 5 which is 51. Now 3x is 51, divide both sides by 3. Why I am dividing by 3? Because I need the value of x so I have to isolate it and this 3 and this 3 will cancel. So this gives you... Uh, on division 1 and 7. So x is going to be 70. That's what you have to find here. Now refer to the above figure. Identify a pair of vertical angles that appear to be obtuse. Now we have to look at the obtuse angle. Remember obtuse angle is an angle which is more than uh, 90 but less than 180 so we are going to identify that from the figure and then for question 6 you have measure of dxb dxb so this is an obtuse angle for sure dxb i will change the color and mark it so d starts from d moves to x till b this whole angle is given how much 116 degrees and measure of exa E x a the small one is given to be 3x plus 2 you have to find x that means you are going to definitely subtract these two angles and then use your um, angle conditions for question 7 you have measure of angle b x c b x c this is given to be 90 that you can see from the figure also so it's a right angle Angle CXD is given and angle DXC is given. You have to find X. Now look at the angle CXD. I'll again change color here. So CXD is the small angle and DXE is 
this small angle. Now, if this is 90, can I say angle CXE is also going to be 90? That means uh, if I add these two small angles, CXD and DXE, I get this big angle CXE, which is 90. So I can directly put 6x minus 13 plus 10x plus 7, the addition of these two angles as equal to 90. Now we solve it for x. So 6x plus 10x like terms combined and added gives you 16x minus 13 and 7 combined. So you subtract them and put a negative sign. That's minus 6 equal to 90. Now solve this equation for x. I move the 6 on the other side. It becomes 96. So x is going to be 96 divided by 60. So you will get your value of x from here. So let's check our final answers in the next slide. So for the first learning objective, part 1, example 1, the value for example 1, x is 3.6. That's what we had got. And for example 2, because these are vertical angles, they are going to be equal and x is going to be 17. For the next questions, 1, 2, 3 and 4, these are the values of the variable x that you will get on solving. And for question 5, 6 and 7, the following are the correct answers. I hope you got all answers correct and this is the end of this video. This brings us to the end of this video which was made for specially grade 8 elite students who are going to give the coming exam. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more revision videos that will help you for the coming exam. Until then, this is Ms. Ruchika signing off from today's session. See you in my next video. Bye students.